G'day folks. Someone asked me if I'd put together a little video showing how I film my slope saw and guiders. So hopefully this might be helpful. You may end up crashing your plane using this technique, so yeah, be careful what you listen to on the internet. Anyhow, my technique. I use one of these uh, old school um, handy cam uh, cameras. It's a HD one. Um, these say you can get a brand new version of this by Panasonic for about 300 bucks at the time of filming, which has got a fantastic five axis stabilizer built in. This has got nothing like that. Um, there's a fair chance, you know, a few more years we won't see this format at all because phones have, you know, just get fantastically good cameras. But for me, this works brilliantly because it's got a, a screen that opens up on the left. So you can hold this in your left hand and for mode two operators, you can then be steering with your um, right thumb uh, uh, and then locking this in physically next to the, um, the transmitter. Now the technique is um, not one of looking at the screen or the viewfinder to, to find the target, you just point in the general direction, a bit like what you do with a hat cam. Um, the difference is you get a heaps better quality with this uh, uh, it's got a larger sensor than those little uh, these little things. I only use this for strapping onto the to a uh, onto the wing or the fuselage for those aerial shots you do every now and then. Bit of a gimmick, but you know they're kind of neat for sixty bucks. Anyhow, this um, technique involves uh, locking on the side, uh, zooming in just a fraction, so to get the equivalent of about a fifty millimeter, I reckon. Uh, of a full frame camera. So this is a 35 millimeter wide angle on its widest. So if I zoom in two times, it can go up to 10, but if I zoom in two, I think it's about a 50 millimeter equivalent. So what, what that allows, or the, the effect that gives us, or the result it gives us, is not a really wide summer out there, there's a little dot flying around doing tricks. Um, it gives us, um, it brings the plane in close enough to represent a bit like what your eye might see. I think that's what the 50mm lens is all about. It's close to the angle of view that a, the eye does, the 50mm. It means that when it comes in really close, like on a couple of these shots here, um, it, it might be too close. But I reckon that's, that's not a big price to pay for having something that at least you can see most of the time. Um, in a, in a tidy way. Um, obviously it's best to have somebody else film it for you, um, but you know, it's a pretty boring thing filming somebody else <laughs> after a while. <laughs> so you've got to learn to do it yourself. Uh, so my technique, stick it on the side, uh, so you, you get the plane in the air, flying away, you have to reach down half, this is where the danger comes in, picking up your camera, Putting on making sure I hit record. You've already set it up to two times the zoom factor in this case Lock it in and point and follow and it's pretty surprising how um, uh, Accurate this is um, You are doing two things at once a bit like being a drummer You've got to think about you know, different things that are happening at the same time because there's you're nervous about being in the right plane where your plane is and also flying which is kind of important. Um, I think that's about it. If uh, I could give any tips about presentation and the edit it's kind of neat to have um, sort of create a bit of a story I reckon. Um, maybe a, uh, a sense of maybe the pilot what they're doing. Maybe uh, some foreground in there to give a sense of the, the location and the depth and the interest. Uh, I think they call it composition in the photographic world. I usually put music in the background with my tracks, uh, just a sucker for that sort of feel. Um, the copyright issue is there. I've had two of my, uh, I had to repost a couple of videos because the, um, yeah, within 12 hours. YouTube say, breach of copyright and you know I think you get three strikes and maybe you're out I'm up to two the bands like Led Zeppelin uh, Beatles 
um, the big names, particularly older school, um, they just take you out. Um, John Mayer, mate, it was about 10 minutes and that was out. So um, I always acknowledge in the uh, description of the video, give some street cred to the, the writer, and also at the end of the video put in the, uh, the artist. It's just a fair thing to do and uh, hopefully it promotes what they're, they're putting out there. Um, but you know, sound of the wind, yeah, it's there. Uh, um, yeah, I do like do like having a bit of music in there. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Uh, don't crash your plane. Uh, yeah, hang in there.